So I love it because this particular question, my first video of it, sparked a discussion um, on the Facebook page about different ways to solve it. So the way that I did it before was algebraic, using a formula, plugging in the numbers I know, and just chugging away and doing the math. Um, but I have a friend who's a woodworker, and he did it by breaking the shape apart. So let me just... Uh, get this little measurement in here it's hard to read this 29 here um, but basically this particular problem asked us to find the area of this trapezoid and what my friend Rob did was he imagined that there was another dashed line here drawn down this way so that I actually had two uh, rectangles can you see here I'm sorry that I'm not a good artist this line should be straight I want you to imagine like I drew a nice straight line Okay, and then he noticed that this shape here would have been a 13 by 15 rectangle. So he said, well, it's easy to find the area of a rectangle. You just measure the two, you just multiply the two measurements, 13 by 15. So Rob did that in his head. So let's see, 13 by 15, that would be uh, 150 and 45. I think that would be 195. Now I want to check myself because I'm feeling a little slow today. Yeah, okay, 195, okay, cool. So he did that piece, but then this is the cool thing that he did that I would not have noticed in a million years. He saw that if I take this triangle and this triangle, and if I were to rearrange them, it would form another rectangle. I want you to imagine that I cut this one off right here. And I moved it, and I'm going to flip it upside down, so I flip it over, and I move it over here. If I did that, I would get a second rectangle right there. Now, this particular rectangle would still be 15 high. Ah, but how wide would it be? Well, it would. if you take a look, this entire piece here was 29. 29. Now, I want just this little bit right here. So to get that bit, first Rob minus the 13 to say, okay, if I take away this 13 piece, this piece right here, I'll have 16, and then he halved it. So if you half it, then this and this piece are each 8. I hope that makes sense, so that this and this piece are each 8. So now I see that this is an 8 by 15 rectangle, 8 by 15. So then he did that math. Uh, let's see, 80 and 40 is 120. And then he put the two rectangles together. If this rectangle is 195, uh, 195 square units, and this rectangle is 120 square units. I can total them up by just adding them. So 195 square units and 120 square units for the second rectangle. And we get 315 square units. And hey, we just did area of a trapezoid like a woodworker.